Hello everyone! In this short video, we will discuss fats, mainly saturated fats and its misconceptions. Let's start by getting to know what is fat. Fat is a source of essential fatty acids which the body cannot make on its own and it helps the body absorb fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E and K. Did you know that a gram of fat provides 9 calories of energy compared with 4 calories of carbohydrate or protein? There are two main types of fat, saturated and unsaturated fat. Saturated fats are mainly from animal sources, including meat and dairy products, but some plants also contain saturated fats, such as oil palm and coconut. Unsaturated fats can be found mostly in oils from plants and fish. It can be further grouped into monounsaturated or polyunsaturated fats. For so many years, Saturated fats are often listed as bad fats and are commonly grouped together with trans fats. Even though evidence on the health effects of saturated fat intake is far from conclusive. What is trans fat? Trans fat is a type of fat that is known to cause health issues. For decades, health organizations around the world have recommended keeping saturated fat intake to a minimum and replacing it with highly processed vegetable oils such as canola and sunflower oil to decrease heart disease risk and promote overall health. However, despite these recommendations, heart disease rates which have been linked to saturated fat intake have steadily risen. So have obesity and related diseases such as type 2 diabetes. Some experts blame over-reliance on carb-rich processed foods that cause this trend and argue that one macronutrient can't be blamed for disease progression and that diet as a whole is what really matters. But what does saturated fat actually have to do with palm oil? Well, palm oil contains 50% saturated fatty acids, 40% monounsaturated fatty acids and 10% polyunsaturated fatty acids. Despite its balanced fatty acid composition that makes it a perfectly stable frying companion for your cooking, its saturated fatty acid content causes it to be demonized as the unhealthy oil. In truth, palm oil consumption as part of a balanced and healthy diet keeps the total cholesterol within normal limits. Many human studies also reported that palm oil has a neutral effect on the total cholesterol levels and is comparable to those of polyunsaturated rich oils. In fact, palm oil can be safely used as a substitute for olive oil with the same heart health benefits. But how much fat do you actually need in your diet? According to the 2015 to 2020 dietary guidelines for Americans, 25% to 30% of your daily calories should come from fats and saturated fat intake specifically should be less than 10% of daily calories. For example, in a daily 2000 calorie diet, 140 to 200 calories or 16 to 22 grams must come from saturated fats. Palm oil is important as it has a role to play among the fats we consume because of the specific composition and particularly to meet technological requirements of some of the foods we consume, for example, as a trans fat replacer. More importantly, from a nutritional point of view, there is no indication that consumption of palm oil in a balanced diet is related to any specific health concern. After all, the relation between nutrients and health must be considered within the whole diet and not in terms of single food items.